My name is Justin from justthisgood.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create an artistic paint stroke effect on your photo. We're in Photoshop and we've got our photo open and the first thing you want to do is actually convert your photo to a smart object. We're going to really quickly turn this normal photo into kind of a black and white artistic grungy looking photo and we'll do that by going to filter noise add noise I'm gonna do 25 percent on Gaussian sorry I was pronouncing that wrong the whole time I think anyways we're gonna go ahead and click OK here so we've already got that grungy texture to it and next we're gonna go to layer new adjustment layer black and white here we're gonna make it black and white but we don't want just a boring black and white we actually want a really stark black and white so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn some of the skin tones like the reds and yellows down a little too much and then we're gonna turn some of the background colors up now you can't do everything in the black and white filter so that's why we'll add one more adjustment layer and that's layer new adjustment layer I'll use levels for this one and I'm just gonna bring in the left slider a bit and I'm gonna bring in the right slider in so overall we're just squeezing the sliders together at this point after you've made your black and white adjustments if you think that you went a little too overboard on the noise you can always double click it right here and turn it down a little bit which is what I'm gonna do actually and that's why we made it a smart filter alright so we've got all of our adjustments applied to our layer and the final step is to create that artistic looking paint stroke right on top so we're gonna go to layer new layer and we're gonna grab our brush tool right here we're also gonna go to window and open our brush presets panel so we can look at the different strokes Photoshop provides us easier. These are just the default Photoshop brushes. If you don't see what I'm seeing, just hit your cog wheel right here and select reset brushes. Hit OK and you should see what I'm seeing. So the first one we're going to use is right here. It's called round angle low stiffness and we're going to use a size of about 150. You can change that depending on the size of your photo or your personal taste. Also make sure you have your foreground color set to white. So now that we have our new layer selected and our brush selected, we're going to grab our pen tool and make a point a little bit outside the canvas and then make a point near the middle of your line and click and bend it a little bit and then make a point near where you want the end of your line to be. So now we have a flowing natural line and we're going to right click and select stroke path. Make sure you have simulate pressure turned on and select OK. So as you can see Photoshop simulates a brush stroke. If you have a pen tablet you could probably just freehand this or the rest of the tutorial but if you're working on a laptop like me that's why we're using the pen tool. So we're not going to delete the path we can actually just use the same path one more time just change up the brush that you have selected. So go to your brush tool. You can actually click this button to open up the brush presets panel. And then the second brush we're going to use is this one right here. It's called round, blunt, medium, stiff. You can change the size a little bit if you like. I'll lower it a little bit to 140. And then do the same thing. Grab the pen tool, right click, stroke path, with simulate pressure turned on and select OK. Now we can actually just right click delete our path because we're done working with it and at this point it's just up to you to add some finishing touches. I like to grab my move tool and move things just where I want them if I didn't get it right the first time and actually sometimes it looks pretty cool if you set the blending mode of this to dissolve. It kind of adds a little bit more of that grainy texture to it. And that's it. Again, I know some of you might not see the point in this effect, but I think it's a pretty cool style and you can use it to make like a theme of pictures or some type of artwork promoting something. Um, anyways, hopefully you learned some techniques out of this. 
mix it up with the brushes and the angles, maybe even the colors, and make it your own. Also, the free PSD will be available for download on my website, as always, for you to look through all the layers and learn through. And if you want to, if you have any questions or suggestions for a future video or this video, feel free to leave me a comment or reach me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. They're all just as good as my username. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.